I'm not trying to be uh, provocative or controversial. I'm not trying. So tired. I need it flat. To me, it was like the natural progression of things in the so-called Indian art continuum, like, oh, well, if I lived 100 years ago, I would have made my son like a bow and arrow. But now I live in the 2012, in the whatever, 21st century, I made him a skateboard. And so, to me, what's the difference? 100 years, 150 years, a skateboard, a bow and arrow, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, a father making something for his son. Oh, that's a cool board. What'd you get? I'm like, ah, uh, my father actually, he started a company called Apache Skateboards and we kind of just ride for him. Because I'm Apache and I'm Otham, uh, I'm Native American in a country that um, has a very violent history about and around and towards Native Americans. You can't extricate yourself from that history and having, having been a part of that or having been also shaped by it. Like Geronimo, oh, you guys are like uh, warriors, or you, know, you guys are crazy and wild, and I, don't know. I guess for the most part it's true. Just kidding. <laughs> they could destroy the cultural and ephemera and the material culture, but they couldn't crush the spirit of the people, and that's what I had hope and pray comes through my art is the spirit of the people itself, the original inhabitants of the, not only the state, but of this country. We're Apaches, we're, we definitely like to have our culture on a board. It, it looks tight, it gets us hyped. People are hyped on it. Like if I'm walking around, you know, people are getting stoked off that. Like, oh, even if they're not like, they're, they're not Native American, they, they get hyped off that. Like, wow, that's a cool something board. Something different, they've never seen something like that. Yeah. The temporary nature of uh, useful art has been with us since you know the beginning of time. Whether it was baskets or or uh, a weavings that were used as blankets, or to carry babies, uh, cradle boards, um, uh, pottery, uh, art for Native people has always been a useful thing. So to me, like as long as the kids are having fun, as long as they're uh, challenging themselves, as long as they're actually getting out there and using the board that happens to have my art on it, I'm fine with it. The problem is, and you can cut this out if you want, because I'm a person of color, it scares people who are not of color. Because all of a sudden they feel threatened when people of color stand up for themselves. Therefore, when people see my work, they're like, oh, the guns are scary. I've gotten uh, criticism actually for the characterizations and the so-called lack of emotion in some of my paintings. And so, and people have said, oh, uh, uh, they're so uh, angry. And I've heard people say, oh, why do you put guns in, in the art? And why is nobody smiling? But hey, you know, after about 500 years of American gangsterism, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and smile about that whole thing either, if you know what I mean. And I'm not gonna sit here and smile just so everybody can be comfortable. All I'm saying is, I, I paint what I like.